The age-old question, are yellow lights better in bad weather than white? In this video, I'm gonna try and explain that, demystify the science, and show you which LED bulbs with yellow light are the best. We've got the Diode Dynamics SLF, the Morimoto Two Stroke Three, the SV4, and the GTR Lighting Ultra Two, all with yellow LED chips. A lot of people have this idea that a yellow or an amber fog light will actually cut through dust and rain and snow and other things in the air in bad weather. And technically that's true for some light sources. Before I explain how it works with LED bulbs, I wanna encourage you to go check out my other video about how color works. You can get yellow light out of a halogen or a low pressure sodium light. And those are actually a single wavelength color. You know what I'm talking about, the old halogen headlights, halogen fog lights, or when you're going through a tunnel and the whole thing is glowing that dingy orange yellow color with the low pressure sodium lights mounted to the ceiling, that's a technology that creates pure yellow or amber light. It's not a mix of colors like LEDs are. And so they call that a single wavelength color. It is one wavelength, probably 2000, 2500, 2,900, 3,100K, somewhere near that infrared range, and that's what creates that yellow light. Now with LED bulbs, they try to mimic that by mixing colors and adding phosphor filters. An LED bulb that glows yellow or amber is probably gonna be a mix of red and green, and then on top, to give it a different shade or hue of yellow, they're gonna put this yellow filter over the LED chip. And as you can see on these different bulbs, each of the LEDs are a slightly different shade of yellow or orange or amber. And that's because they're trying to design a specific shade or color of yellow or amber. Now the old style technology, the low pressure sodium, the halogen, those single wavelength, they bounce around less because it's one wavelength of light. It's one stream of energy. So yes, the old style lighting technology that you're used to seeing that people have always said cuts through dust and fog better does because it doesn't scatter and it's a more pure light output. It does cut through different things and give the perception that something's brighter. But when it comes to the newer technology, like these four yellow colored LED bulbs in front of me, it really has a lot more to do with your perception and your preference. These are gonna be less bright than a white version. They may help cut through fog a little bit more than a white because there's less blue in the light output and blue refracts more and scatters more than red and green. But at the end of the day, it's really up to style and how you think it affects your driving experience. For demonstration purposes, we're gonna use this H11 style fog light. You can see it has a traditional halogen light bulb and it installs just like you'd expect. When I turn this thing on, you get a traditional looking fog light light output. For demonstration purposes, we're using a digital lux meter and we're measuring these from 25 feet away. I'm holding these at the exact same spot and shining them at the same wall and using the same power supply and the same lux meter. So all it really matters for this test is what you think of the color of the different bulb and how they relate to one another in terms of brightness, but worry more about the percentage increase. The lux numbers themselves are irrelevant outside of this test. First, let's start with the halogen bulb. At 25 feet, this thing makes 110 maximum lux. Nothing surprising here, this is what all fog lights look like. But check out when we put the Diode Dynamics SLF yellow LED fog light in the housing. We already know that the SLF is Diode Dynamics less powerful, less bright variant. So I'm not really surprised that it isn't any brighter than stock. This thing comes in also at 110 maximum lux. But the color is completely different. It's a great beam pattern, and this is actually a pretty unique color. The other bulbs in the lineup don't look like this, so pay attention to that. Now moving on to the brand new Morimoto Two Stroke 3.0 with a yellow LED chipset. 
This thing comes in at 130 maximum lux. Again, not a very big increase over the stock in terms of brightness, but that's what Morimoto advertises. They call it a linear increase in light output. They're not looking for massive increases. What they're really concerned about is retaining the shape of the beam pattern. But in this case, we're also changing the color. The other thing that we learned from Morimoto and Diodynamics is brighter isn't necessarily better when you're in search of long range vision. Generally speaking, you don't want your fog lights to overpower your headlights. So if you're one of those people that puts super bright LED off-road lighting in your bumper and you're trying to drive around town and you can't see worth a darn, it's because your fog lights are way too bright immediately in front of the vehicle you need something more comparable in relation to the hotspot of your headlights. However, if you do want a super bright LED, the next two are a lot brighter. Up next, we're gonna talk about the SV4 with the yellow light output. SV4 has been a crowd favorite from our customers and myself personally for years. And since day one, they've had a yellow LED option. In my opinion, it's one of the best out there because it's way brighter than stock, has a great beam pattern, and I really like the shade of yellow color that this bulb produces. This is our brightest yellow bulb in this test, coming in at 280 maximum lux. Now keep in mind, other bulbs may be brighter in different housings. As you probably already know, brightness is a combination of the LED bulb and the housing you put it in. Now let's move on to another newcomer to the lineup. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 is now available in a yellow LED chip option. This thing's almost as bright as the SV4, coming in at second place in brightness at 240 maximum lux. The interesting thing about this one is because of the specific LED chip that this bulb uses, the footprint of the light output in this fog light increases the height of the fog light. This might be something that you're really interested in. Some people think that you should have a very narrow band of light for your fogs, but if you like a little bit more punch and coverage from your fog lights, this is a really cool option. For reference, we're also gonna do the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 in white. As you can see, white is a lot brighter than these yellow bulbs coming in at 320 maximum lux. Just so you know, there is a difference in brightness between white and yellow bulbs. White bulbs are always going to be brighter than yellow. Each of these bulbs are going to be completely plug and play, really easy to install on any fog light on any vehicle. So go to headlightrevolution.com and on our homepage, put in your year, make and model, and we'll show you every option that you have for yellow LED fog lights.